Welcome to the Medi-Cal Managed Care 101 series. This session is for organizations considering becoming enhanced care management or community support providers, as well as those who have recently signed contracts. Today, we're going to guide you through a high-level tour of what your organization can expect in the process to bill and get paid by a managed care plan for ECM or community support services. Please keep in mind that this is a 101 level series, and so we will not cover invoicing, claims, and billing exhaustively. Rather, this will give you a sense of the process. When it comes to billing for ECM and community support services, understanding the invoicing and claim submission process is crucial. Let's walk through how this typically works and what you might expect as a provider. Both invoices and claims are fundamental tools used by providers like you to bill for services rendered. They essentially serve the same purpose, but may be referred to or formatted differently, depending on the context or specific requirements of the managed care plan. The state suggests that managed care plans within the same counties collaborate to standardize their process, create common templates, and align their billing practices. However, this is not mandatory. What does this mean to you? Well, if you're contracted with multiple MCPs, be prepared to adapt to different billing processes. Each MCP may have its own set of rules and templates, which can vary from one plan to another. Despite the potential differences in processes, all managed care plans are required to accept standard invoices and claims. Generally, the information required on an invoice is similar to what you would need to include on a claim. This typically covers details about the service provided, the date of service, patient information, and other relevant data to support the billing request. To give you a clearer picture of how claims are handled, let's break it down into four main steps. One, prepare your claim. Gather all necessary information and documentation to ensure your claim is complete and accurate. This is crucial to avoid delays or rejections. Two, once you've prepared your claim, submit it to the appropriate MCP or their designated vendor. Make sure you know the specific submission guidelines for each MCP you work with. Three, keep an eye on the status of your claim. Most MCPs offer a way to track this online, which can help you stay updated on its progress. And finally, number four, you'll receive a notice whether your claim has been approved or denied. If denied, it's important to understand why so you can address any issues and resubmit if necessary. For a more visual breakdown of the claims process, Aurora Health Group offers a helpful summary. This visual can be a great tool to familiarize yourself with the typical flow of claim handling and what to expect at each stage. Navigating the billing process can be complex, so we've put together a recommended sequence of resources and actions to help you become proficient in billing for ECM and community support services. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to get you started. Start by reviewing the claims process map provided by Aurora Health. This resource will help you understand the essential components of billing, breaking down each part of the process so you can handle your claims confidently. Watch a tailored presentation by the Corporation for Supportive Housing. This presentation is designed to help organizations like yours get acquainted with Medi-Cal billing. We link to a relevant excerpt in the description to make it easy for you to access. Ask your MCP contact to refer you to someone who can provide billing technical assistance support. Managed care plans are required by the state to assist ECM and community supports providers throughout the billing process. You might also want to ask if you can run sample claims to test the systems before scaling up. This can help identify any issues early on and mitigate delays in payment. Managed care plans require that claims for ECM and community support services conform to national standard specifications and DHCS established code set contained in the Healthcare Common Procedure coding systems. Make sure to review the ECM and community supports coding guidance to understand these requirements fully. Once you're familiar with the basics and the process, engage with your regional CPI collaborative. This is a great way to connect with peer organizations that face similar billing challenges. These groups often share useful tips, billing cheat sheets, and other practical resources that can make your billing process smoother. By following these steps and making use of the recommended resources, you'll be better equipped to handle the billing aspects of your ECM and community support services effectively.
Remember, learning from peers and continuously seeking out expert advice are key strategies to overcoming billing challenges. Navigating billing in the context of ECM and community supports can often present challenges, especially for organizations that may not have traditional healthcare background. Here's how you can tackle these challenges proactively. The Technical Assistance Marketplace is an excellent resource for billing-specific support. Here you can find vendors offering expertise on various topics, including comprehensive billing process assessment and revenue cycle management optimization. These resources are designed to help you streamline your billing operations and enhance your financial management capabilities. Billing complexities are, are a common knowledge for many providers, but remember, these challenges are not insurmountable. A good starting point is to use the primary resources we mentioned. They provide foundational knowledge that helps you mystify the billing process. Engaging with your managed care plan is crucial. They can offer specific guidance and support tailored to their billing procedures. Additionally, connecting with peer organizations can provide practical insights and tips that have been effective in similar settings. Don't underestimate the value of one-on-one -on -one technical assistance either. Personalized help can address your unique concerns more directly and effectively. Understanding that managed care plan billing processes can be complex is a vital first step. Armed with this awareness and the right resources, you can approach billing more confidently. The key is to be proactive. Utilize the tools and support available to you to ensure that you can navigate these waters successfully. Thank you again for joining us. Please watch the final video in the series where we will provide a recap and point you to additional resources to help make your journey as an ECM or community supports provider successful.